Good morning, composers. So I'm going to talk to you about a drone this morning. And a drone is uh, a particular compositional device that is really quite easy to use. And it has some fantastic uses as well. Um, a drone uh, uh, on its own, you can think of it as a long sustained note. We might use the word drone when describing um, somebody who's talking because they might drone on and on and on. So similarly, in composition, a drone is a note that carries on and on and on. Now this note that carries on and on has certain uh, important features about it. So it can set the key for the whole piece of music. So for example, if I play a drone using the note C, the music that follows should be in the same key. So that means that other layers that happen to come on top of that drone could be in that key. Let me just give you a little demonstration. So you heard a drone down low and over the top I played uh, something more melodic which was using the same scale. So I had a C drone and I used the C scale above it. So what I want you to think about is how you can use a drone in your composition. A drone can be used to create tension, it can be used to show some stillness and there are a few different ways you can do that. So I'm going to show you a few of those ways this morning. I've chosen this um, sound here called Bright Suitcase. Um, I'm not sure why it's called Bright Suitcase, um, but it's quite a nice sound for a drone. The useful things about this sound, when you play this instrument, I'm holding the key down and the note continues for quite a while. It's still going just. So you need a, a sound that can carry on for some time. Let me record this in. So here we have a bright suitcase drone sound, I'm just going to trim the beginning there. And we've got some space then over the top to create some other ideas. I'm going to add a new track in here. I'm going to use a software instrument because I'm using the MIDI keyboard. And here we've got our classic electric piano. Um, let's just change this a little bit. I'm going to go for um, something guitar-y. Um, Yep, that one will be fine. So it's a rev we'll rewind here and have another go at recording. So you can see in this instance, the drone has uh, become louder and died away again a little bit and it's allowed me to create a melody that fits underneath it in the same key. Now, there's something else that we can do with a drone, and in order to do that, I'm going to um, mute this track, mute this track, and add in another software instrument. Now, the software instrument I'm looking for now is one that would just continue, continue um, without me having to uh, replay the note. I'm hoping this one will do that for me. So 
string sound. Okay, that's quite a long sound there. You'll notice that I actually played two notes with that. And uh, by double clicking on this track, you'll be able to see the notes that I played in. So there was a C, a lower sound, and a a higher sound. There are, as always in Logic, some settings you can look in here. Um, it's on full strength at the moment. Um, you, you you can uh, sorry the velocity is at 104. You could turn that up higher, gives you a louder sound, or you could turn that velocity down lower if you wanted to. Uh, what I want to do though with this uh, particular sound is I want it to fade in and I want it to fade out. Um, we can we can put that on later. But for now, let's get in another new track, software instrument, um, and I want something to go a little bit lighter over the top. And in fact, I'm going to go straight for a flute. And again, we've been playing in, in C. If you were to C and the G, they're in that same chord. Uh, and I'm going to record a melody now with the flute. But I'm not going to record very much. I'm going to go for some quite sparse composing. Just really playing around there with a few uh, few ideas, always using the C scale. Uh, and, I, and when you're playing, you can't really get a good idea of how it sounds. So we could listen back to that. Um, just the melody on its own. Uh, just that beginning bit so I'm gonna just delete the rest of that for now and I might have that repeating itself okay turn the oh, string drone back on and have a listen to that let's rewind all the way Sometimes with the MIDI instrument, it doesn't quite catch the beginning of the sound. some automations on there uh, and ask it to fade out if you wanted to on the end of that track. So this is the use of a drone. As you can see, um, if you have a long sustained layer underneath, you can build up melodies on top. It gives it give that sense of, of stillness. One more thing just before we finish this video, um, you can also have a drone that happens much higher up in the texture. And what I mean by that is the use of an inverted drone. I'm going to mute those strings for a minute. I'm going to delete my beautiful flute melody, and I'm going to use this flute to create an inverted drone. What that means for us is that the drone, rather than being at the bottom of the texture, it's really quite high up. So we're going to use the top of the piano, or rather the top of the flute, to record what will be quite a piercing uh, and tension building drone. Have a listen. Now, 
Now, combine that with a low drone, for example, the, the first one that we had here, you can end up with a drone at the bottom and at the top of the texture. You'll notice that with the flute drone, I decided to add more flutes as we went along that drone sound. Let's see how this sounds. Now you can imagine if we've got some melodic interest in the middle, that would be quite uh, an effective way of creating some tension and some stillness maybe within our composition. Okay, try these things out.